In a relatively short time, electronic products have moved from being rare and expensive to being commonplace. Now, semiconductor chips play a vital role in our daily lives. They make our lives more pleasant, safer, and healthier. The smallest components on chips are transistors. Basically, they're switches, and there can be billions of them on a chip. Together, they do the hard work of computing and memorizing huge amounts of data. By making transistors smaller, uh, chips are cheaper to manufacture, which is important. And smaller transistors are also faster, which render the chips more powerful. A technology that enables that is called lithography. Higher resolution is important to make smaller transistors. We achieve higher resolutions by developing more advanced mechatronic systems, more advanced lens systems, and software. However, making smaller transistors is not the only important aspect of this business. When we make chips, what we're really doing is making three-dimensional constructions. We start with the bottom layer of tiny transistors, and then we add more layers, interconnecting those transistors with an intricate maze of wires. It's like the floors of a high-rise building. Each floor must fit exactly on top of the previous one, with pipes running vertically through the building. The accuracy with which these layers are aligned and placed on top of one another uh, is called overlay in the industry. And overlay is very important because it determines whether a chip works or not. Uh, these days, we already have the chip overlay in the order of only a few nanometers. That's not all. Affordable chips also need to rely on very economical and efficient machines to produce them. If we can make machines faster, they become more productive and cost-effective. Every chip needs to be imaged individually. We can't image the full silicon wafer in one fell swoop. We need to step to each chip, then scan, one by one. The scanning process takes time, and as we try to make transistors even smaller, we will need to image critical layers twice instead of once, which will take even more time. That's a process called double patterning. So lithography machines need to be faster and more accurate in their positioning, because the smallest features put on the wafer are getting smaller and smaller. Several years ago, we recognized that to enable double patterning, chip makers would need faster and more accurate machines. We needed a new platform. The engineers at ASML came up with an elegant new design. What remained was the popular concept of twin wafer stages, one measuring the wafer while the other is being exposed. What's new are lighter stages that can move much more freely and accelerate faster through the machine, increasing productivity significantly. Also, a fundamentally new measurement system makes it possible to accurately position the wafer within a few nanometers. More precision means better overlay, which will result in more good chips per wafer. And what that means is, of course, more dollars per wafer. This is a step we needed to keep Moore's Law going, not only enabling uh, the manufacturing of smaller transistors, but also helping chip makers to achieve the yield, in other words, good chips per wafer, and reducing their manufacturing costs. ASML's new platform offers breakthroughs in overlay and productivity, which are ideal for enabling double patterning techniques. This means ASML is ready to power the next phase of semiconductor manufacturing.